I'm just up early today. Sunrise isn't quite here yet. Campsite got a little bit busier last night. But just feeling good. Had a campfire for a while. Didn't get any footage. There was a lot of new hikers around. Not everybody wants to be on a video. It's just about six, quarter after six now. Ready to start getting my day started. Well, I'm getting out at seven o'clock. I think that's the earliest I've gotten out on trail yet. I don't know whether to wonder what's different about today or what's been different about the rest of the trail. I suspect it's been a lack of campfires. But ready to get going. The issue with the water cache, I was talking with some people going southbound, giving them tips on the water coming up, is there's a water cache in 7 miles, and there's a water cache in 22 miles, and these aren't the little, like, 10 gallons here, 15 gallons there, these are, people keep saying hundreds, so apparently we are supposed to rely on these water caches, so... We'll see, got a little uphill and then some downhill. Ready to get going. Coming up from down there. Going over that way. Just a pretty morning. Probably going to end up capturing a lot of these. Going that way. I got up this morning. Thermometer said 30. There's a little bit of frost on the tent. Sun's up and it's getting warm. Thermometer says 70 now. Coming from that way. Came from up there. I've started into a six and a half mile down stretch or downhill stretch. And I did like two and a half miles in the hour going uphill. So I'm making good time. Also getting a lot of good views going down that way. Going that way. I know I've captured this view from one angle or another a few different times, but you're going to keep seeing it until I'm tired of looking at it. Because I think it's pretty cool. Coming down from up there. The flowers have been blooming and smelling. Bees are buzzing everywhere. It's a little warm, but other than that, not a bad day. Went around another bend. Trail goes over like that. I don't know if you can see it. 
I wonder if that's the water cache I can see shining right down there. But I came down from up there. So that was unexpected. That was actually the trail magic some people were expecting to be at the campground and got there. First 15 minutes went by great. And I snacked a little bit more, a little bit more. Next thing I know, it was close to an hour. And I said goodbye and then kept talking. And well, you know, it was an hour. So getting going again. I didn't take enough water to overnight because it was 10 o'clock when I got there, thinking I can do 14 more miles if I have a lighter pack and get to the next cache. It's pretty. Came from over there. Getting lower and it's getting hotter. A little bit different view. That's where that trail magic was at. So I think I've got about another mile of down. And you can see there's nowhere to go but up. Came down over there. That ended my downhill. Now I'm going to go up there and start looks like about 800 foot of elevation increase in two miles I can handle that see those clouds over there that's south of me where I've already been I need something like that to the north of me found a spot to sit about another mile of uphill not feeling too bad there's a little bit of cloud came from that way and I think those clouds are getting closer a little bit of a cool breeze coming from that way too and my two mile up is done I think I'm going that way but I didn't really look at the map and now I've got like four miles of little up and little down so I'm hoping to cruise at 11 miles done 11 miles to go and I think it's around 1 o'clock so I think I'm in good shape Alright, I don't really like heights, <clears throat> so that wasn't super fun, but isn't this awesome? Got a little bit of a breeze, and it's really pretty out. That last valley was pretty great, but this one's not bad either. There's more clouds in the sky all over the place except for between me and the sun going up that way taking a couple of breaks I'm down to less than nine miles to the next water cache and where I plan to camp and I think I've got about a liter left not making terrible time but it might be a little bit late when I get there Cause I'm sitting in the desert on a horse with no legs. 
I think we've been sitting here for days in the desert. Your horse should have some legs, cause it ain't walking nowhere if it ain't got no legs. Na 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 na. Finally got a little bit of cloud cover. Feels very good. Got about seven miles to the campsite and water. Drank a little bit more of my water. Coming from over there. Coming up from that way. Going over and around there. Back in Mojave, I could buy a Fountain Diet Coke just about everywhere, except for that gas station right next to the hotel. They had Pepsi products. Right now, if somebody was to offer me a Diet Pepsi, Fountain Diet Pepsi, I'd drink it. Coming from up there. These last two miles are downhill, loss of about 600 foot of elevation. Drank the last of my water just before I got to the two mile mark. Because I kind of figured if I was rationing out those two liters, last two miles didn't really count. And I'm doing good, so I guess it worked. My hand sanitizer is lemon scented, so I think I'm going to check and see how that tastes. Otherwise, I'm doing pretty great. I'm not dying of thirst or anything, but I could go for a drink of water. And then I'll start looking for a place to camp. I think there's spots up there or over there. I'll show you whenever I find it. But here's this water cache. Again, they have the hikers very well taken care of. All right, I think this is gonna be my spot. An attempt was made to shield it from the wind. That's the direction it's coming from. So I'll check it out. Today was 22 miles on the dot. Not too bad. Anyway, I don't stress over miles. I don't appreciate these long water carries make me do bigger miles than I want it. But this ought to be a good spot. If everybody, If y'all are really good and I get a bunch of watches on this, then I'll get you a picture of the sunset. And if you're really good and I get a bunch of comments and shares and likes and all that stuff, well, I'll get you a sunrise too. Tent was a little bit frosty whenever I put it up this morning. But I don't think it's going to take more than a few minutes of this breeze to have it dried out. <laughs> 